Good afternoon. Welcome to the KTH 910 AM interview of the week. We are glad you are listening. And if you tune into this program regularly, you know that we talk about a lot of important events and news and things that are going on right here in North Texas. If it's local and it's Catholic, we want to talk about it. And we also appreciate suggestions for this program. You can email me at davepalmer at grnonline.com. Michael Blessed is our producer and our guest is Rick Self. Rick is the conference leader for a wonderful event that has happened every year for the last four years and going into the fifth year now next year. It's called the North Texas Catholic Men's Conference, and I've been blessed to go to every single one of them. And as long as I am walking this earth, I'm going to go to all the ones in the future as well. The, the fifth one is coming up next year, and uh, we are ahead of the game, or they're ahead of the game, in preparing for it. They already have all the speakers set up in the venue. It's going to be Saturday, April 23rd, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and the location is St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in Grapevine, Texas. And all men are invited. This is a men's event and have a lot to talk about. So first of all, uh, let me introduce Rick Self. He is a parishioner of Good Shepherd Parish in Colleyville, where he and his wife and uh, children attend. And he's, as I mentioned, the conference leader. So Rick, uh, thanks for joining us. Good afternoon. Hi, Dave. Thanks for having us on. Uh, we really appreciate uh, this, this call out for us. You know, we... We got an early start this year on this conference and we wanted to get it out on October 1st. That's what that was our save the date day. Mm -hmm. So uh, now, yeah, and it's interesting because this is when we're recording this. It may not be when we play it back, but it's we're recording it on October 1st, uh, St. Therese of Lisieux feast day, patroness of missionaries. Is that the tie in or is it just October 1st? Cause it's a good day. Just a good day. Uh, but St. <laughs> okay. Therese is a great, reason to have that date yeah because so, she yeah. said she's going to spend her heaven doing work on earth That's so right. we asked for her intercession yeah. and uh, uh so anyway so let me um let me read a, something off the website then i want you to comment on overall the kind of purpose and meaning of the men's conference how it's been going for the last uh, four years going into the fifth one now it says here uh well website by the way ntxcmc.org as in north texas catholic men's conference ntxcmc.org says the North Texas Catholic Men's Conference is an annual gathering of Catholic men which is coordinated by a nonprofit lay ministry known as the Catholic Brothers for Christ with the following goals uh, to motivate all Catholic men to build up the body of Christ by uniting his brothers being a living witness of the gospel in all areas of their lives and facilitating faith building programs in their communities. So when we talk about that first, it's really not about this event in itself. It's about perhaps what happens after the event, right? That's correct. And in fact, the event is just a once a year thing that keeps people motivated, right? So, you know, our group is dedicated to getting people, uh, especially men, to have fellowship together, to do, to get involved on a regular basis, on a weekly basis. In fact, for instance, at Good Shepherd, we have rosary and discipleship every Saturday morning at seven o'clock and 50 or 60 guys show up and we, we talk about, we pray rosary and then we talk about, you know, the, the items of the day, whatever that may be. Uh, we may go over a Father Larry Richards video or we may do this or that, but the, the idea is to keep us all motivated, keep us all, you know, accountable to our actions and and the way you do that is in fellowship with other men so mm -hmm. such, a, such a great thing you know I, I don't know when it started I, I sometimes think it may have been the promise keepers events you know decades ago which uh, our protestants brothers and sisters started but then it seems like in the last uh, two three decades there's been a lot of outreach for men you know authentic male christian spirituality and uh, not only you know going in the closet and praying as a man but uh, fellowship like you're talking about right. getting together encouraging you know what is it does uh, uh, iron sharpens iron that's right that was the theme of our conference last year so you know the, the more we can do that the more you know we stay involved we're, we're, we're better fathers we're better husbands uh you know we just we spread the gospel and i mean that's what the mission of the church is to spread the gospel mm -hmm. so, i've never met a wife uh yet that says gosh my my husband you know i just i just don't want him going to those fellowship meetings with other men and <laughs> growing in his faith <laughs> right <laughs> because right. you know then he comes home and you know hopefully he's a better father and husband and uh, you know she sees the difference and the kids do as well all right uh, another goal of the conference create ongoing partnership with the bishops and priests in the dfw diocese yeah, that's what we've done. We've, we're trying to do that. We've, we've got a really great relationship with the 
Diocese of Fort Worth, Father uh, Mike, uh, Brother Bishop Michael Olson is in support of our our mission and yeah. evangelization, and and you know we get involved with our with our local priest and and. and you know, it's just a great partnership. So. Mm -hmm. uh, third one and last one here, promote collaboration with other Catholic organizations with an emphasis on men's spiritual needs. I know as, uh, you know, as being one of those groups, uh, you guys have done such a fabulous job in supporting us. And, uh, and you know, I think it's reciprocal as well, but uh, you've done a great job. What are the other groups that you're working with? Well, you know, this, this group came from, um, from people who went to acts and chirp retreats, yeah. right? So you go to these retreats and you, you become you get on fire and then you need something else to keep it going and yeah. that's kind of what how this group started you know Kevin Christensen and uh, Joey Asai you know they had a vision for you know keeping that flame going and that's what this meant that's how the men's conference started and and again we go back to the the groups like uh, Rosary and Discipleship uh, you know this man is you or whatever type ongoing meeting um, that that we do that's what keeps the fire going yeah we're so. talking about the north texas catholic men's conference saturday april 23rd and i know you're listening to this and you're thinking my goodness that's <laughs> that's months away but that's the whole point that's one of the things that rick self our guest is going to talk about is that we want to encourage you to sign up now and there's some incentive to do that uh saturday april 23rd uh, about two weeks after easter it's a week after uh, uh uh, Divine Mercy Sunday, uh, uh, as I, I think uh, Rick will talk about as well, eight to six uh, that day, and the um, the website again, ntxcmc.org. Uh, let's talk about the theme of it. You mentioned last year, iron sharpens iron. This year, the theme, mercy and virtue, our faith in action. Yeah. So, so the, the we got our inspiration for this theme basically from Pope Francis, right? Yeah. The Holy Year of Mercy. So. We want we want we want to be able to live our lives and and have the virtues and have mercy come you know mercy and love flow out of us so that's that's kind of what we're gonna we're talk about this year all of our speakers are dedicated to speaking about uh, divine mercy and and virtue so it's gonna you know it's gonna be a really uh, it's a great time to be a Catholic especially after Pre uh, Pope Francis was just here last yeah. week and all his messages were about mercy the whole so. world the whole country is talking about Pope francis and the catholic church and uh you need to capitalize on that uh, let's talk uh you know I, I mentioned before i've been to all of them and you had, you've had some outstanding speakers and you know it's, it's hard enough because you know we have an event every summer and we get one speaker and you've got to get you know four or five of them and i know that's that's not uh, easy to do uh bishop olson is going to do the blessing and the welcome like he did last year so he's directly involved in this isn't he? that's right yeah he's he's gonna open up our conference again and he's gonna stay as long as he can and participate in the conference. He really enjoyed it last year. In fact, we have him going, we're going to do a retreat here in a few weeks and he's going to be involved with that as well. Just oh, for our okay. leadership team. Oh, so, good. Very excited about that. We have Father Wade Manises. He's a Fathers of Mercy mm -hmm. uh, priest. He's um, a retreat master and he's he's on EWTN all the time. He's a great motivational speaker. Yeah. We're very looking forward to having him yeah, there. He's outstanding. Yes. Uh, and also, he's on Catholic Radio all the time uh, with the Fathers of Mercy. So obviously, the tie-in, the theme's mercy, and you think, oh, gosh, yeah, which priest sorry. are we going to get? Well, let's get a Father of Mercy. That's right. And you had Father Bill Casey, was it uh, last year or two years yes, ago? Yes, two years ago. Yeah, yeah so yeah. you've had the, the Fathers of Mercy on before. So, yeah, Father Wade, just uh, so clear and so concise, and I, I love his preaching style because... It's almost like textbook preaching, you know, right. and everything is just solid as a rock. So, all right, Father Wade Menezes is one of the speakers. And then Vinnie Flynn, um, and I, I know you and I are not real familiar with him. Yeah. I've heard his name, uh, author of Seven Secrets of Divine Mercy. Yeah, he, his specialty is the Divine Mercy Chaplain. Yeah. In fact, he sings the Divine Mercy Chaplain as well. He's, he's an author. He's written many books on Mary, on, on the sacraments on the father's love and things like that. So he's, we're very excited to have him. He's, he's uh, I think he will inspire them, and especially with Divine Mercy. In fact, this year we're also gonna pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet mm -hmm. in our oh, okay. conference. So 
So. I was just thinking, you know, uh, all the kids who are listening right now, encourage your dad to go because he's going to come back more merciful after, right. that, <laughs> after, this, right. uh, after this event. Okay, uh, third speaker, Jared Zimmerer. Uh, he wrote a book called Man Up. I've had him in studio here before. He's a little bigger and more muscular than you, Rick. I, I yeah. think it's, yeah. <laughs> and me too. He's a little intimidating, actually. <laughs> yeah, he's a bodybuilder. Yes. And I, he also wrote a book called The The Ten Commandments of Bodybuilding. Right. Uh, and so, yeah, this is a guy who's the, he works at St. Francis of Grapevine. And what do you know about him? Well, I just know he's a, his whole thing is about keeping his body healthy and virtue, Catholic, yeah. Catholic virtues. I mean, who doesn't need to take care of their bodies and, and, uh, and virtue? I mean, so um, he's a young guy. He's been, he's in, involved at St. Francis. He's real excited to have us there. And we're really happy to have him as a speaker this year. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Jared Zimmer, Father Wade Benizes, and Vinny Flynn. I, I think, uh, let's see, oh, and the, the other big change for this year is the music. Uh, last year, uh, you had the event at the Hearst Convention Center, and there was, as you had described to me before the interview, there was kind of like piped-in music, and uh, this, this year, going back to live music, and a, and a great uh, artist that's going to be leading it. Yeah, Kurt, Curtis Steven is, is fantastic. He's a national Catholic recording artist, yeah. so... Uh, having he's going to be there all day, and he's going to he's going to lead our praise and worship throughout the day, and he'll he'll have he'll do music during adoration, he'll do music for our mass. So mm -hmm. we're very excited to, to have him. It's a, and he's a you know he's really a step up for music uh, that we've had that we've yeah. had before. And he's so. also a local guy, as is Jared Zimmer, as we mentioned. Curtis is the um, the director of music for St. Anne's and Capel and a uh, OCP artist as well, Catholic composer. Yeah, he, he's outstanding. So, all right, uh, so the theme is Mercy and Virtue, Our Faith in Action. We're talking about the North Texas Catholic Men's Conference uh, next April 23rd, Saturday. But, you know, time flies. That's you right. may think, ah, it's so far away. But uh, we're going to encourage you to um, uh, sign up early by the end of the year. Let's go ahead and talk about that. What is the incentive yeah, and, so, and the reason why that's important? Well, last year we, we had a great conference last year. We had a, over 750 men. The problem is we had 500 of those men sign up about two weeks before mm -hmm. the, the, the actual conference. So this year we've decided to put a, a really good incentive to sign up early. So if you sign up before December 31st, it's two people for $49. Yeah. So basically less than $25 each. So I'm encouraging people, even if you don't have a buddy yet, go ahead and sign up for the two and then invite somebody later on down the road and yeah. bring them with you to the or, conference. Or, or get four. I mean, you can get four for what, $98? That's and right. Buy, and buy three. Uh, I don't know if you can do that. Can you? Can you yeah, do yeah, multiple sure. Ones? You oh, can okay. do multiple ones. Yes. Okay, all right. And so two for $49 uh, up until December 31st. If you don't buy two, it's, they're each going to be $30 uh, if you only buy an individual ticket. But it's kind of like the HOV lane. You know, get somebody in your car, come okay. with you, why drive alone? So, so go ahead and buy two. And as Rick said, even if you don't know exactly who you're going to invite, you're going to have that uh, ticket there. So when you talk to somebody in church, you can say, hey, I got a ticket for you uh, to the men's conference. So go ahead and do that. And the, the location has changed. You're, you, yeah. I mentioned you were in Hearst. And now this year, this, this year we're in Grapevine. So yeah. we're more even more centrally located than we were last year. And yeah. St. Francis is, 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 is hosting the event. So, um, you know, but I, I should mention our website, ntxcmc.org. So go sign up on that ntxcmc.org, especially, uh, you know, get that buddy pricing um, and register as quick as you can. But yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. ntxcmc.org. It's the North Texas Catholic Men's Conference, Saturday, April 23rd, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church, uh, 861 Wildwood Lane in Grapevine, Texas. And um, let's see, we talked about the speakers, the music, praise and worship. Uh, there's also going to be a chance for sacraments. There's going to be the, the sacrifice of the Mass. I assume uh, Father Wade will be celebrating Mass. And also reconciliation, will that be offered as yeah, well? Yes, so what, so what we will do is we'll pray the Rosary in the Divine Mercy Chaplet mm -hmm. and have uh, Eucharistic adoration. We will also have reconciliation like we did last year. And then we will celebrate the mass. Uh, actually, Father Flynn is also going to help us with that as well. Yeah. Uh, so 
so that's the activity, the sacraments, and you know we're gonna we're gonna have fifteen to twenty priests there for reconciliation. So um, you know, really encourage men to come and celebrate all those sacraments with us, and 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 it's gonna be a great time. So. Yeah, you know, I want to speak to the the guys. I I know you know you said that uh, five hundred people signed up in the last couple of weeks, and I know and, and praise be God for that. But I know as guys, you know, we sometimes really have to be motivated by uh, by something in order to get us off our duffs on a Saturday. You know, we, we, we might be working around the house or mowing the yard. There's a lot of other good things we could do. Um, but I just want to maybe speak about the impact that this event has had on you. I can give my own testimony and other men that you've heard of in the past four years that might motivate the man to say, well, this is, this is important. Well, you know, um... I went to my first conference about four years. I think the, I went to the second year conference, and I was just totally blown away by the speakers, um, just by seeing the other 700 men at, at Prince of Peace at that time, that were just you know just in fellowship, and it it was just a great motivator for me. I mean, it it, it I want to do these on a regular you know every couple of months if we can you know yeah. so um, but. Yeah, it, it really changes your life. I know we changed people's lives last year because we, we hear about it. We had a couple people that uh, have gone to chirp because of that, you know, our chirp retreat or axe retreat because of this conference. It just kind of wakes you up. And so, um, you know, I'm just encouraging anybody, any man, you don't, have, you don't even have to be a Catholic. You can come to this conference and just yeah. be inspired by these speakers. These guys are going to blow blow you away. Yeah, that's a, that's a very good point. You know, Protestant brothers and sisters, yeah, it doesn't matter if you're an atheist or a Jew or a Muslim, come to the conference and I think you'll get a lot out of it. And, you know, my, my, what I would say, Rick, is, you know, I've been to the four and have enjoyed them very much. I love the fellowship with men. I just love running into guys that I know, meeting guys I don't know. Uh, I also do a retreat every year called Into the Wild and guys have a chance to get up there and give their personal testimony. And one thing I realize is that most of us, I can't say everybody, most of us are broken in one way or the other. There's a lot of guys addicted to pornography, having marital problems, maybe on the brink of divorce, maybe they, you know, who knows what right. kind of problems, but they walk around smiling and yeah, at work, you just don't know that. Mm -hmm. And men need men. You know, it's, we, we have to have a, a really great relationship with our, our wives and our kids, but that that man-to-man -man relationship is, is, is really important, and I think a lot of men are, are out there needing that, and maybe that's what that second ticket's for, is you find a guy who needs to be there and say, hey, I already got your ticket. It's paid for. And, and come to the, the, the April twenty third. Right, me. right. Totally agree. And the, the other thing is, uh, you know, it's 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 an all day event. We're going to have food for them as well. So that yeah. forty nine dollars includes breakfast and lunch, and served by the Knights of Columbus, which is which is a first for us this year. We've got the Knights of Columbus backing us up at St. Francis, so we're really looking forward to that, and uh, just. You know, it's a great event. Uh, wives, sign up your husbands. Go to the website and sign them up. You know, and try to get them there. And um, we look forward to having everybody there. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Rick Self is my guest. He's from Good Shepherd Parish in Colleyville. There's uh, men on the committee from both the Dallas and the Fort Worth Diocese. The theme is mercy and virtue, our faith in action and all in the Holy Year of Mercy as uh, called for by our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Again, it's gonna be Saturday, April 23rd from 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. New location, St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in uh, Grapevine. And, you know, people remember, I think the first three were at Prince of Peace in Plano, right? And then right. they moved to Hearst. And so it's kind of, you know, moving around a little bit, but now you're coming back east a little bit, uh, closer to the Dallas Diocese. And yeah, I think that's important because, you know, people from the outskirts of town yeah. may not have come all the way over to Hearst from last year, but yeah. we think Grapevine's a great central location, and it's just, it's, it's, it's good for everyone, so. All right, uh, let's see, two for $49 up until December 31st. After the new year, we'll do another interview, and we'll, um, we'll kind of update on what's going on. The tickets are online for sale right now they can yes. get them right yes you can register today 
Okay, ntxcmc.org, ntxcmc.org. Anything before we uh, finish out? We just got about a minute left, Rick. Anything else you want no, to say? I just want to encourage you to come out and sign up early this year yeah. because, you know, it helps our planning. Um, but, but it's, you know, it, just get a buddy and yeah. come, you know, come to the conference. Does the church hold uh, a thousand or? Yeah, it holds 1,200. We're, we're expecting a thousand, you know. Okay. We, We'll sell it out at a thousand men, but uh, yeah, we, you know, it's a great day. The speakers are fantastic, and just come on out. All right, uh, you heard it. Bishop Michael Olson will do the blessing and welcome. The, the speakers will be Father Wade Menezes for the Father from the Fathers of Mercy, Vinnie Flynn, author of Seven Secrets of Divine Mercy, and also Jared Zimmer uh, from St. Francis Parish in Grapevine, and he's the author of Man Up. And uh, the music will be provided by Curtis Stephen from St. Anne's Parish in Capel. Well, Rick, thanks so much. Thank and you for all your support. We'll play this a couple of times, and then we'll have you back at the uh, in the new year and get an update as we get closer to the event on April 23rd. And I do encourage all men to to seriously consider to doing this. And I don't know what you could what how better you could spend that Saturday. Uh, for the sake of not only yourself, but uh, your your wife, your your um, your kids, and and I keep talking about wife and kids. You know, a lot of single men go to this. A lot of priests go right. to this, don't they? Oh yeah, a lot of priests. Everybody will benefit. Okay, thanks a lot, Rick. It's yeah, good thanks, seeing Dad. you. Appreciate thanks, you. Michael uh, Balesta, for producing the program under the watchful eye of Diane Xavier back there as well behind the glass. Thanks to you too, and thank you for listening again. As I mentioned at the beginning, if you have suggestions for the interview of the week let me know about it we want to cover all the things going on in north texas in the local catholic world you can email me at dave palmer at grnonline.com god bless you have a great weekend